In the last video, we created a main menu and set up button functionality that we'll later use to start our game. In this video, we'll provide a brief introduction to how to set up a simple environment asset, materials, character model, and how to test and retarget character animations. Let's begin by setting up the plane that will serve as the surface to our alien world. In the bottom left-hand corner within the asset browser, click the drop-down arrow next to your project's name. Then in its subfolder, expand the assets directory. We'll be using the moon surface, model, and textures to represent the surface of our game. Next, let's remove some of the assets we don't need and that will get in the way of our scene. In the Entity Outliner, expand the Atom default environment. Next, delete the ground, shader ball, and grid elements. Next, let's add our moon surface to our scene. Return to the Asset Browser and click the arrow next to the moon surface folder to expand its options. Select the moon surface FBX file and drag it into our Entity Outliner. It's helpful to center all of the assets we bring into our scene and then position them into the proper location later. Notice that by dragging our moon surface into the Entity Outliner, it does not center our asset by default. We can easily do this by selecting the asset and then pressing the R key on the keyboard. Next, let's set up the material for our moon surface. In our Entity Outliner, click on the arrow next to our moon surface entity. This will expose its sub-object, select it. Then in its Entity Inspector, locate the mesh component and click on its Add Material component. Now that we have a material component attached to our moon surface entity, we'll be looking at two processes for attaching materials to models. First, let's take a look at how to attach an already made material to our moon surface entity. Make sure that your moon surface is still selected. Then, on the right hand side of the screen, within its material component, locate and click on the Pick Material Asset button. This will open the Pick Material Asset window. In its search field, type Moon Surface. Once the moon surface material appears in the drop down list, select it. Then, click the OK button. The material will now appear on our moon surface object in our scene. Next, let's take a look at how we can set up a character and its materials in our scene. Back in the Asset Browser, expand the Astronaut folder. We'll be using these files to help construct our Astronaut Entity within our Entity Outliner. In the Asset Browser, select your Astronaut FBX file and drag it into the Entity Outliner. Once again, to center this model, press the R key. It'll reset its translation to zero in the X, Y, and Z axis. Next, let's take a look at an alternate method to setting up materials and textures in O3DE. Within the Entity Outliner, locate the Actor component. Click on its Add Material Component button. Next, return to the Asset Browser and drag the Astronaut Material into the default and Model Material slots within our Material component. Next, let's set up the textures that will provide color and bump data to our model. Click on the Manage Source Material button and select Open Material Instance Editor. The Material Instance Editor is a compact version of the Material Editor and can help speed up production by providing immediate access to the material properties. Since the Astronaut character will not be taking up much screen space during gameplay, it's not necessary for us to provide maps for all of the material parameters. We'll only focus on what will provide color and height information. From the Asset Browser, select the Astronaut Base Color Texture and drag it into the Base Color Texture slot. Let's repeat this step for our normal map, which will provide bump increase information to our model. Select the Astronaut Normal Texture file and drag it into the Normal Texture slot. In order to see our texture take effect, we need to save our material. Click on the Menu button, indicated by three dashes within our Material Editor. Then select the Save Over Material option. Select the Astronaut material, then click the Save button. In order to better see our material, let's rotate our sun. Within the Entity Outliner, expand your Atom Default Environment and select the Sun Entity. Then, on the right-hand side of the screen, locate the Transform component. For the Rotation X parameter, enter 180. As an added bonus, let's take a look at how we can share or retarget animations between character files. Select the Astronaut character. Then, on the right-hand side of the screen, in the Entity Inspector, select the Add Component button. Then, in its search field, type Simple Motion. Once a Simple Motion component appears, select it. The Simple Motion component is a great tool that can be used for testing animations. In order to view our animations within the editor, tick on the Preview and Editor button. Then select the Pick Emotion File button. Once the Pick Emotion FX window appears, type Alien in its search field. Then select the Alien Attack animation and click on the OK button. Since the Alien Skeleton does not map directly to that of our Astronaut, our Astronaut character will deform. This is not an issue because O3D has a powerful feature that allows the user to retarget motion, allowing animations to be shared between rigs. First, click on the Loop Motion button so that our animation will play continuously. Next, click on the Retarget Motion button. Now our animation is shared and plays correctly. Uncheck Preview and Editor to stop our animation. Our game will be played in the classic top-down position. So let's adjust our camera so that it is positioned above our character and facing downward. In the Entity Outliner, select your camera. Then, in its camera component, 
select the Be This Camera button. This will change what is displayed in our perspective view to the view of our selected camera entity. In the Camera's Translate component, enter 0 for the X and Y axes, and 100 in its Z axis. Then, for its rotation property, enter minus 90 in the X axis, followed by 0 in both its Y and Z axes. Feel free to adjust the camera based on your own preference. That concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to look for the next video in this series on the O3DE YouTube channel. You can also find a link to the next video in the series in the description below.